Hey, how's it going? Z-Man Attack here. I want to thank you for tuning in to Snowly Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. And as you can see, the next Video Games Monthly box has arrived. Just took it out the mailer, getting ready to go ahead and uh, experience this with y'all. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. Okay. As always, I'll have the prices listed below as I pull the items out. All right, so let's see if we got some cards going on here. I found a couple cards here, so let's take a look. Okay. Uh, update your library uh, card there just letting you know to update it as you get your games that way you don't get duplicates and a one up okay cool all right all right we take those right <laughs> definitely not opposed to one ups right all right so let's see what we got here oh look, actually we always got to check for trinkets because they always add a few things in there from time to time right so, so far we've gotten, what, the Frisbee, the, um, the pen, the keychain, and now the lip balm, <laughs> lip moisturizer, huh? premium. What don't they, what don't they stamp with their logo, huh? <laughs> Pretty dope. All right. So let's go ahead and get to the meat and potatoes. Of this box here all right it feels like a disc based item like a dvd case type thing um i think i updated my uh my library to exclude any ps2 xbox one and uh ps4 games so i'm not sure exactly what this is let's go <laughs> what they they giving out movies okay hmm i mean i'm not gonna lie i was actually looking for this and it's actually sealed too so this is pretty dope the super mario bros movie <laughs> the um the forgotten child of uh <laughs> mario movies but yeah so if y'all saw the recent uh direct that mentioned uh the new super mario bros movie with the Pixar technology and everything like that, you know, comment below and uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, you know, we're gonna set this one aside. We're, gonna we're not gonna talk about this, but I do appreciate appreciate that it was uh, you know included. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, I was looking for this one in particular because I just any kind of video game, movie, or adaptation, I'm trying to collect them right now. So I eventually got to try to find the Resident Evils and all that stuff. But I got Hitman. And, um, what was the other one? Mad Max Payne, you know, stuff like that. But which I thought was actually okay. I, I didn't have a problem with it. But anyway, <laughs> some of these are just really bad. It just is what it is. But anywho, moving along. All right. So I feel a couple of disc-based things like uh, PlayStation size, like jewel case. Okie dokie. Okay. Motocross Mania. Yeah. Take Two Interactive. This is like <laughs> this is one of the budget titles for sure back in the day. Um, I mean, Take Two is a much bigger company nowadays, but back then, yeah, they they, they were known for the budget titles. Uh, another one that was uh, also uh, by Take Two was uh, Grudge Warriors, which I actually kind of liked. Um, it, it had an awesome soundtrack. But anywho, Motocross Mania. Um, okay, it is complete in box, though the case actually is a little damaged on both sides so if i open this it's gonna come off yep <laughs> it totally did but uh yeah let's take a look at it okay it's got a little wear to it but nothing too uh too rough to where it probably wouldn't play so yeah that's that's fair all right next game oh. Big Strike Bowling, meh. Yeah, I'm not really 
too much uh, caring about this one. These two PS1 games, really, unfortunately. But this one has a little bit more wear, but it looks like it's playable. Not sure what I'm gonna do with these. Um, they're not. They don't really have like a particularly high value, so yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, but I mean, there is a there is a uh, there is a guy at my local uh, flea market that I trade with. Um, so if anything, I'm pretty sure he can find some kind of a use for it. <laughs> All right. Okay, got an NES game. Oh yes. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm definitely. This so far to me is probably, <laughs> I guess, besides the movie, the best thing in here. Um, as you know, I'm a huge Tetris fan, uh, and if you didn't know, I'm gonna call somebody. <laughs> it's uh, it's unhealthy, my addiction level to uh, Tetris. I'm literally trying to collect every version of Tetris that I can. So uh, I have this for, um, I have it for SNES, but now I also have it for NES. So cool. All right. I think I have it for Game Boy as well. Okay, and last but not least, we have Top Gun, the second mission. Huh, okay. Wasn't aware of that. That there was a uh, secondary game titled the second mission. Okay. That's cool. All right. We up. <laughs> so, uh, that was pretty much everything for this box. Uh, it is now empty. But... I don't know. Uh, comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing out of the box was for uh, this month's box here. Um, to be honest, uh, actually, by the time you see this, I would have already have uh, applied to um, or requested to go ahead and cancel the subscription. Uh, I just find it more beneficial and cost effective for me to, you know, find older games. Uh, in the means that I do, which is, you know, flea, uh, flea markets, thrift stores, antique malls, and even repair shops that sell video games. So wherever I could find, oh, pawn shops, yeah. So pawn shops as well. Um, wherever I can find them for a deal, I definitely look. And uh, that's kind of been the gist of what I've been doing. And uh, anything that I don't want to keep, if it's cheap enough, I'll still get it. That way I can flip it to get more things. Um, you know, to kind of help fund, you know, my, uh, collectors, um, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. Um, uh, not an obsession. Cause I definitely, you know, I, I, I like I said, I only want to get things that I care about. I don't really want to have a whole bunch of just filler titles and just like, Oh, I got a whole bunch of games that, I've, that I'm not going to play, you know? So yeah, I like to have the last say, uh, with what it is I want to try to, you know, purchase for the collection or if it's for flipping purposes. So this, this, uh, the service has been great. I, I've, uh, as you can see, I've, uh, pretty much got either a one or two up, uh, with every box that I've received so far, which I greatly appreciate. Um, again, I've already sent the email and everything like that and, uh, they've responded and yeah. So, yeah, uh, I did mention that I would definitely use the services again later. Um, but yeah, for me and my habits and things like that and my methods in which I collect retro games, it's a little bit better for me to, you know, have the last say what it is while I'm like the thrill of the hunt is all good as well. But uh, it's better for me to, you know, basically at the end of the day, choose what it is I'm bringing into my collection uh, for the amount of money being paid. So with that being said, the total value listed here. And as you can see, once again, it is unfortunately below the value of the actual subscription box. So um, call it what you will. This is, I guess, somewhat of another reason why I'm parting ways. But <laughs> it is what it is. You know, you got to, especially during these times, you know, you have to really, you know, um, be selective and and when it comes to the things that you're, you know, buying and, you know, purchasing consumer, uh, esque things. So that being said, uh, I'm just going to go over one more time what we got in this box, the top gun, second mission, Tetris two, big strike bowling, monocross mania, 
in the Super Mario Bros. movie, Sealed. Very cool. Alright. So, let me set these down here. And uh, with that being said, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to drag this out. So, um, once again, you know, huge thanks to uh, Video Games Monthly um, for the service and extra bonus games in every box that I've received thus far. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're gonna end it here. So, until I, I guess, decide to pick up on this uh, subscription box again, you know, we'll look forward to more of these videos. But for now, this is the last. Uh, but I got plenty of other content. You know, as you know, I primarily do gameplays, let's plays, things like that. Um, but yeah, my tech reviews and everything like that will, will continue, of course. That's kind of the bread and butter of the channel uh, based off the views. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. If you like what you saw definitely like comment subscribe remember to keep it locked to snowy games for all of your indie game third-party game tech review coverage and sometimes nintendo and retro games thrown in the mix have a good one take care